pinned message of the group there is an editorial pinned over there so this article is related to the recent news which is spreading day by day it is it is related to the monkeypox virus so monkeypox disease so right now if you check out the news channel you will find out that various news are flashing around it like it is gonna be similar to covid virus it is also gonna be like a pandemic or something a lot of people will be killed so i would like to tell you that how this thing how this term got spreaded and what is the reason behind this virus how this virus came into existence so first of all we should know that what is uh, this uh, monkey pox virus is so monkey pox virus is basically uh, we, you can say that it has been spreaded by the rodents rodents means like a small animals like a rat a squirrel or dormice etc so this virus can be transferred from these small animals to humans and basically it is quite similar to chicken pox so you all know that what was the uh, like symptoms of the chicken pox you will get a small kind of like a blister on your body or some rashes and that is very painful because in the earlier time period before 1980 when this chicken uh, small pox was eradicated it was been also treated as a very spreadable disease and a lot of people were killed around it so it this monkey virus only have the same sim- symptoms same fever and same kind of muscle strains and all but there is just one difference a small difference than that uh, the lymph node like if you are affected from this virus monkey pox virus your lymph node will swell like the blisters will be more visible and in the case of a small pox the swelling was very small so it was like uh, not that much painful and also the mortality rate in this case is very low in comparison to chicken pox about 10 out of 100 people only get you can say die because of this virus so why it is in news right now and why the author has printed it in the in the indian newspaper so recently on 14 july there was a case uh, found in india the kerala man who used to work in uae came up with this virus symptoms and uh, when they found it that he was really infected from the monkey pox virus so it is spread at concern over the country and because of that we have to check it out also the main motive of writing this article is because the who world health organization has like denoted it as a pre pandemic you can say uh, which is called pheic public health emergency at international level or council it is so it is now phe like it is a similar you can say like on 30 january 2020 uh, this uh, pheic was denote, denoted to covid virus it means like covid could also be spread like be a pandemic uh, become a pandemic in upcoming time similarly this is a like uh, this is denoted to some virus or disease which can be fatal in upcoming time or very dangerous so now it has got its designation and it is going to be very dangerous in and also i would like to tell you it has been called zoonosis like uh, this monkey pox is called zoonosis means like uh, a virus which is transferred from animal to human as though it is also transferred from human to human but uh, the that the chances are very low about it so let's start reading the article let's find out what is the suggestion of the art like the author and what are the uh, reason why to write this article today so the heading is learning lessons so it means that we have to learn some lesson so what kind of lesson we have to learn from the heading let's check it out india must step up step up research and prepare adequate defenses against monkey pox so as you know that i just told you that some of the uh infected people are found in india also because of this virus so we have to prepare for defenses against this monkey pox virus okay this was the subheading now we will read the article the who for the second time in two years has declared a viral outbreak to be public health emergency of international concerns with four cases confirmed in india around 14500 cases globally monkey pox outbreaks have triggered 
international concentration in a world that is yet to recover from the covid-19 pandemic okay okay so as you can see that uh, the monkeypox has been already declared as a public health emergency by the who and uh, in india also four cases has been found till now by the way 14500 cases have been reported in the whole around the world and that is really staggering amount of number of people infected in the small time period so uh, like uh, we are already uh, getting terrified from the virus and uh, the people are getting terrified and we should also notice that we still not recover for the problem of the covid which has it created so we are getting bombs by bombs after each and after so it is creating panic around the public all over the world let's see what's next uh, after a split work- verdict at the international health regulations emergency committee meeting on whether monkeypox deserves to be termed as pheic it fell on who's director general dr tedros gabrius to take a call a phic is just one step short of a pandemic classification so as you know here as uh, you can say a committee has been mentioned like the name of the sorry the name of the organization is international health regulation emergency emergency committee so they held a meeting recently and in that meeting just think about it there are 100 people and out of those 100 people 50% supported to report it as an emergency health uh, public health emergency and 50 were people think that it is a uh, got against it like no it is not a pandemic right now it cannot create any kind of difference so the onus was on the gabrius uh, tedros uh, sorry what was the name okay tedros gabrius yeah yeah the who director general so he have to now make a decision that should they declare it as a phic or not and i think he have done the the taken the right decision to declare it as a phic so phic i will tell you that it is just one step short from like uh, becoming a pandemic so just think about it pandemic is the top level and uh, before it the phic is the declaration that a disease get that it is going to be dangerous in upcoming time so we can jump to the next paragraph following the declaration declaration anybody who want to read this paragraph following the declaration hello yes go on please Following the declaration of COVID-19 as a pandemic on March 11, 2020, WHO had come under criticism for not responding with alacrity uh, on the public health threat uh, that the coronavirus pandemic uh, portended. It had termed the COVID-19 crisis as as a PHEIC on January 30, 2020, when global cases were around seven. 1500 or about half the levels now reported for mon- monkey pox so basically here it is saying that uh, uh, when the pandemic of covid 19 was there in march at that time who was lacking like at that time they did not declare covid 19 as a pandemic like phe pheic under this category and hence now uh, now the cases have risen of monkey pox and if uh, who won't be doing as such thing then uh, preventive measures will not be taken in initial stages yes eventually very right but just there, there was not any information given up given about the uh, monkey pox it was related to only covid so what happened in the starting covid was not declared as a pandemic or the harsh actions were not taken by the who because of that they have to suffer from criticism around the world like people started criticizing them so right now what is happening like uh, the who have taken the right decision by declaring it so they have to also make it very clear like if something happens like a pandemic situation is been created so they have to actively 
uh, release the information to the public around it. There is also a small dat data has been shared, like on the 30th January 2020, the numbers of the people infected from COVID was 7,500 people. And in this case, when it has been declared as public health emergency, the cases are around 14,500, which is approx double uh, the monkeypox cases. Okay, we can jump to the next paragraph. Guys, if you are unable to see the see the editorial, you have to check out the pinned message. Okay. Check out the pinned message. The following February. Who gonna read this? Any volunteer? Muni, are you there? Sri? Anybody who want to read that paragraph? I can't Check out the pinned message. What? Be yourself, your voice is not clear, brother. You can't see the pinned message. Who's that? Quest. Yeah, you can read that paragraph. The following. The following February was the pivotal month that compared World Health Organization to elevate, elevate threat levels and push world into territory that it had not navigated since the since the 1918 influenza pandemic. Next In minute. this paragraph shows when WH trade in 1918 influenza pandemic, not like that on in COVID-19 traded. It's done. My side. Fine. So, it is telling you about the coronavirus. The following February was a pivotal month that compelled WHO to elevate threat level and push the world into territory. Uh, the next month after the when the corona was released, like corona was designated as PHE, uh, IC, public health emergency. The next in the next month, upcoming succeeding next month, the February, the WHO has elevated the threat level. So they have started making their assumption and they started uh, warning, giving warning to the countries that uh, this is a health emergency and uh, because of that the people, the world came became a territory means they started getting confined into their homes, taking precaution about it and uh, like these kind of scenes were never been seen uh, like last time when this happened was in 1918 uh, influenza, influenza pandemic which is also known as I think like army pandemic something because a lot of people like uh, uh, soldiers were killed, soldier pandemic or uh, disease was it was des designated as. So we can jump to the next paragraph. Though monkeypox is caused by a virus that is endemic in a few African countries, the world took note only after it was first reported in the UK on May 6, 2020. So uh, like uh, this monkey vi monkeypox virus is re was really confined into a small area. Uh, endemic you can say that this word is used as for the local so this virus was only a local virus which was confined into the african countries so what happened uh, like on 6th may a person was a person or like U uk resident was found uh, like contaminated by this virus and it was because he has visited nigeria few days back so it it take like people started taking into concern especially the western countries that this virus is now spreading and uh, just after that we will check out what happened so within a month and a half it is spread to 63 countries 
with Spain, Belgium and the US. Historically, none endemic for the virus, beginning to report a spike in cases. So we can also read it that within a month and a half, it has spread to 63 countries with Spain, Belgium and the US, beginning to report a spike in the cases. So what happened? Just after 1.5 months, the virus got spreaded in about 63 countries, including Australia, Spain, Belgium, Portugal, US, and some of the best, like the biggest economical countries. So it shows that how severe the action, how severe the virus could be, in terms of uh, like uh, spreading. So this virus became spreaded into many area, and even in those area, it was not a local virus. Not a, ever a single cases has been found in these new areas. It means that the virus had like great spreading rate in comparison to the other virus which came before. So uh, next is like historical learning for the virus. In Africa too, transmission has been historically limited and there is uncertainty over the events that have caused such a global spike. So in Africa also, the transmission was very limited and now it is a very shocking news that how this virus has spreaded all over the globe. So this is a shocking news that how it is spreaded just in 1.5 months after finding the first person who was infected from the virus. So we can jump to the next paragraph, monkey pox for now. Who want to read this paragraph? Yeah. Can I, read I want to read. Go buddy, Hello. please. Monkey pox Can for now it? has more yeah. visible manifestations such as rashes and blisters and is said to be overrepresented in men who have sex with men. It is believed to spread only through close contact and is fatal only to the extremely immunocompromised. To explain it, please, Are you there? Okay, okay. Okay, so here it is written about uh, monkeypox symptoms and the manifest manifestation. So basically what a manifestation is like representation. So now the monkeypox virus has more manifest manifestation because we already know that in the case of COVID what happened that we cannot detect the person who is suffering from COVID because uh, normal sneezing is also there and we cannot denote a person that he is uh, like can, he is infected from the COVID. But in the case of monkeypox what could happen the person will start having blisters on his body and we can see rashes like red dots over his body. Blisters means some kind of like uh, you can say swelling or bubble especially have you seen a case of uh, chicken pox or a small pox you will see that the similar kind of uh, physical appearance of this virus can be also be seen and because of that it is very easy to detect that who person is infected and in this case what is happening that uh, it ha what has been found the facts that it is because men men are having relation with men it means like homosexuality you can say and that is the oh, quite a well reason that why where this virus has been infected and uh, also like uh, it is quite uh, clear that uh, because of close contact like it it doesn't spread in the similar ma manner as the covid has spread it so if a person will have a close contact with the person who is infected then only the virus could be transmitted to his body or transferred to his body so it is very similar to like uh, the chicken pox or a small pox but it is different different from covid because if person is sneezing from like a one feet or just like two feet around you so you can also get uh, infected because of it because even that you are not having any physical contact with person you, you still will get the, that disease from the person in the case of covid but in the case of monkey pox it is not going to happen and uh, also it is dangerous to only people who are facing some um, who are immunocompromised like who have some immune, immunity problems like uh, you know about aids in what does happens in aids like your Im immune system will totally stop working so these people can be a potential uh, people who will die because of the monkeypox otherwise a healthy person is not going to be uh, infected sorry uh, not going to be fertile uh, like because of this 
like mortality rate is very low in the in this case so we can jump to the next paragraph who has recommended yeah be yourself go on yeah so who has recommended that countries step up surveillance amplify public awareness campaigns governments work towards not stigmatizing the disease and help infrastructure be primed towards producing diagnostic kits so here who is requesting to the country that our country should spread awareness about this fatal disease so that uh, prevention measure can be taken before spreading uh, uh, globally this disease we are who we can say is requesting we need to amplify and uh, we need public awareness about this disease uh, we can uh, spread awareness uh, through campaigns through a new channels and some other uh, social media as well that is that's only who want to say in this paragraph exactly exactly very right so i think that there is no need of explanation that guy has explained it in a very well manner so we can jump into the next paragraph the experience from the covid-19 pandemic yasri yeah, you want to read that paragraph go on the experience from the covid-19 pandemic has shown that the government's implement measures to avoid panic but are often opaque and vast with the information uh, necessary to correlate in this uh, paragraph uh, i will tell that uh, from the what we learned from the corona pandemic what um, uh, spreading in the global level and uh, uh, from that uh, what we learned and uh, how to um, uh, how to uh, uh, yeah how to prevention we la uh, how to prevents uh, how to dare the prevention uh, we learned so in this um, monkey pass that type of uh, uh, that type of a lesson we have to uh, we have to do so yeah uh, after that we have to create uh, more uh, campaigning and uh, uh, governments also are implementing some uh, rules and uh, after that uh, that will be uh, get uh, go down that's okay okay very fine very fine so basically it is telling about the government like uh, you know that who has already shared the information that now government should prepare every country should pay, prepare to fight this pand uh, pre pandemic thing so but what is the problem here is that government who try to control the panic over the country they don't ever like uh, when they are delivering the information they are not totally clear about it like what information is right to be uh given to the public or spreaded to the public and that's why the this kind of in misinformation are the reason that are unable to uh what we can say uh like suppress the panic inside the public mind so this is the quite reason government is uh, obviously at larger time they are opaque and vague like they are unclear about the information so the public are not aware about these things like how to of how to like not panic around these diseases and this could be cured so delivering the information is very pivotal here so how the government should deliver so in covid we were unable to deliver the information but now we have got the whole experience about it so we can share this monkey pox information in a decent manner from now words so while it is unclear who gonna read this paragraph Okay, so can you tell me the meaning of vague? Vague, vague means like unclear. Like uh, just put oil on some paper, take a paper, put oil on it, and try to look uh, like uh, what is object behind it. Look through that paper. You will see that the visuals are very unclear. That is called vague. Okay. Yes, sir. Adi, can you scroll it a bit? 
while it is yeah pridarshni you can go okay while it is unclear how the monkey pox outbreak will play out in the months to come the government must begin coordinated action with the states to accur- accurately summarize and disseminate the extent of the threat until now monkey pox fell under the category of neglected tropical diseases okay uh, give me one minute so take your time seminars means to spread this seminars okay so the paragraph is saying that uh, uh, it is unclear that how monkey pox outbreak uh, will play that means that uh, when we saw the case of covid it is spreaded like uh, uh, it is spreaded very fastly but in the case of monkey pox uh, it is the initial phase it is not spreading very fastly but it can spread very fastly in upcoming months so we are not sure about it yeah but uh, the 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 paragraph is saying about some preventive measures that the government must uh, take uh, preventive measures like uh, like coordination with states uh, for example all the states where there is uh, there is there are international airports uh, where the possibility of spreading uh, monkey pox is very high and we, we can put a detector or some we can check uh, the uh, the travelers that uh, if somebody had the uh, has the uh, has infected by the virus uh, monkey pox virus until now until now monkey pox fell under the category of neglected tropical diseases that means a uh, neglected tropical diseases is it mean that uh, it sorry i'm, I'm not getting neglected that. tropical diseases is like this disease the monkey pox only occurred in the tropical region of the world like africa and caribbean areas so it was pretty much neglected in other countries till now okay okay i will tell you uh, till like now a, how can i use uh, hello hello kevish i have a question for you hello can you hear me hello yeah yeah so like uh, can you tell tell me that how can we use uh, until now structure it is a complex structure, right am i right or which one brother uh, until now where it is i think it is until now only the other one from us can you give now. me some example how can we use in uh, until now give me a example how can we use yeah yeah like until now is basically used like uh, till right now uh, this thing was not been seen anywhere like uh, in this in this example we can check it out in a very easy manner so there is a country called india and in india there was no sign of aids okay before the 28 like 2000 year 2000 but it but after 2000 we started seeing a surge of disease infected people of aids in india until now means like till now there is not a single kind of thing happened but now we are going to see this thing like this thing is started happening over there you can use the until now as till now you can also say this word so before that uh, it doesn't ha- it ain't happen but now it is happening okay okay uh, may i uh, say something i think it is saying that until now we say it in hindi jab tak nahi that means till the time it does not come under the category of neglected tropical di- diseases that means it will not spread in tr- uh, tropical area we should uh, we should uh, take preventive measures uh, to uh, avoid this monkey pox uh, now, now it is clear i think now and both are same right exactly you can say until now means like extreme in a extreme manner like till now there was not a single case 
like uh, till now means like you can check out the okay. data you shared 14 july till now there was not a single case but after 14 july we started seeing a lot of cases around it so you can say that hindi word abhi tak अभी तक अंटिल मीन्स होता है जब तक नहीं इसका मतलब कि जब तक हिंदी हो गया जब तक नॉट द राइट वर्ड अंटिल नाउ जब तक मैं क्लियर गो आदि या यू आर एक्सपर्ट इन ग्रामर Actually, guys, there is until now. So generally, we use that word in our negative sense or in the interrogative. Okay, you can't use that word in a positive manner. So there, there is written that there is like summarize and disseminate the extent of the threat until now. Until now, monkeypox fell under the category of neglected tropical diseases. So you can imagine like there is some negative sense. Am I right, Kavish Kinnar? It is obviously related to negative. But uh, yeah, this is showing that in India we didn't have felt any kind of tropical diseases. Like there were not a single tropical diseases. Uh, like there were very minor in numbers. But now they are spreading in country after that case, which have been seen on 14th July. It is just a simple line, people. Are you not able to get it? Yes, yes, sir, yes. yes. It, yes. it is. It is okay, one. but. So what they are doing is that uh, uh, I don't know whether he is serious or not. Maybe yeah. Oh, Priyadarshini, uh, you should check it out again. And ma'am, if you having some problem, please send me a DM. I will also check it out. Like what is the issue there? Because I don't think like the meaning, exact meaning of the word until now is jab tak. I think it's jab ab tak. Nahi. जब तक नहीं ये मीनिंग आदि कैन यू क्लैरिफाई इट फर्दर अंटिल नाउ ओके सो अंटिल नाउ मींस गाइस यू कैन इजीली नरेट दिस वन एज अ सो फार टू अ सर्टेन लिमिटेड स्टेट या ओके व्हाट एवर द मींस मिसकंसेप्शन ओके वी विल कंटिन्यू द फ्लो Okay, so here it is. I will give it a reading. Related to the eradicated smallpox virus, monkeypox is suspected to have an have amplified due to reduced immunity against a smallpox virus. So, as you know that the smallpox virus is already eradicated. The specific time which was given was 1980. So, in 1980, WHO has declared that they have eradicated smallpox. It means like now we will see very few cases related to smallpox, but monkey pox is really getting amplified so why the reason like what is the reason behind it so the immunity against a small pox virus has really fell down right now in people so because of that the people who have like very less amount of immunity for the like uh, developed for the small pox virus they are the potential people uh, the potential you can say targets that are been uh, infected through the monkey pox virus also and because of that it has been said that in caribbean area one out of 10 person is infected from this virus and they got uh, they died because of it so you can say the people who have less immunity uh, to this virus uh, to chicken pox a small pox they are the probable people who will get infected from this virus uh, monkey pox virus also so we can jump to the next paragraph Indian labs. Krithen, are you there? Yes, brother. Yeah, read the paragraph and try to explain it. Yeah, Indian labs and biotech companies must set up, research, and mine their arsenal to prepare adequate defense if the need arises. So, in this in this particular lines, uh, the uh, the writer is actually specifying. Uh, 
uh, about the readiness of the Indian. See, Indian labs and biotech companies must set up research and mine their arsenal. Arsenal matlab kya? Yudh Shastra. Astra Shastra has been called, but in this para in this uh, sentence, we can utilize arsenal as the equipments which are used to develop vaccines or antidote. Okay. Okay, medicine like. Yeah, exactly. I, I, the, the other is actually specifying uh, that uh, the Indians, I mean, the Indian labs and biotech companies uh, <coughs> should get ready for this. I mean, in terms of their equipment and uh, these uh, medicals, medicines. Because uh, the need, because as the number of cases are arising, we need to get prepared for this disease in terms of our equipment and uh, medical standards. Absolutely right. So we can say, like we can describe it as a summary that now monkeypox has spread out its legs in India. So what we have to do, we have to take precaution. The government have to spread some knowledge about around it to the public and coordinate with the states. And according to that, they also have to inform the pharm pharmaceutical, sorry, uh, the Indian labs and the biotech companies about it. Like they should also start experimenting the antidote of this disease. Like you, they can discover some vaccine and ex start experimenting on it. So if the adverse situation comes in India, like similar what happened in COVID, we were unable to handle it. So, so this time we will be 100% prepared and uh, we will try to mitigate the impact of this monkeypox virus so we could also uh, save our economic and the health life of people so this was quite a uh, interesting article which uh, was evolving around like involving around the whole disease like monkeypox disease and all we we have also gathered information that this virus is not as much fatal in comparison to covid and it also is spread is spread after getting in getting some physical contact so it cannot be be spread through air or something else and uh, the main uh, involvement of animals are over there for the special category of that animal is called like uh, you can put some quarrels inside it and the specific word is rodents r-o-d-e-n-s rodents are basically small animals rat squirrel or dormice or rope so these are the probable spreader of this virus and we have to take precaution uh, related to the monkeypox virus so this was all in the article guys and uh, according to me the uh, article was having quite a suggestive you can say tone and uh, the author tried to suggest various kind of uh, like you can say information or uh, some precaution to the public or to the government yes uh, i have the same opinion the other is uh, both informative and suggestive Finally. Exactly right said. So this was the editorial guys. I hope you people will join tomorrow also and we will discuss here some another topic or some another editorial from the Hindu. Goodbye people. Have a nice day. And yeah, Priyadarshini. Yeah. yeah, Priyadarshini, you should come at 6 p.m. Aditya, when does the grammar session happens? Aditya. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, so Priyadarshini, try to join at 7 p.m. tomorrow. What, ma'am?